Hi, welcome to the Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 18th series of Principles of uh, Drug Discovery. Uh, in the previous uh, videos, we have seen combinatorial uh, synthesis for lead identification, the eye to screening, and then uh, assay development and uh, parallel high throughput screening. In this, we are going to see in silico drug discovery techniques in lead identification. What is in silico drug discovery? In silico drug discovery refers to the use of computational techniques and computer simulations to discover, design, and uh, optimize the potential drug candidates. These methods are valuable uh, because they can significantly reduce the time and the cost involved in drug discovery process compared to the traditional experimental approaches. These techniques are based on the idea that by computer algorithms and databases, the researchers can identify and evaluate the potential drug candidates prior to experimental validation. Molecular docking is a computational method used to predict the preferred orientation of one molecule that is the ligand when bound to another molecule that is a bigger molecule which is a receptor. In drug discovery, docking is often referred to as uh, it is used to predict uh, how small molecules, the potential heats or leads or the drugs interact with the target proteins or receptors. It helps to identify potential drug candidates that could bind effectively to the target and to modulate its activity. Virtual screening. Virtual screening uh, involves the rapid screening of large chemical libraries or databases of compounds to identify the potential drug candidates. It can be performed using various techniques including a structure based virtual uh, screening using molecular docking and ligand based uh, virtual screening using ligand similarity or pharmacophore based uh, methods. So you can see this, uh, it is of two types, one is structure based uh, method. The structure based method where the target uh, protein is known, uh, you use molecular docking and scoring. Whereas in ligand case, you know only the ligand, you doesn't know the target, you check the chemical similarity, uh, check its pharmacophoric features, you do uh, QSAR studies and then you proceed with the particular receptor or different receptors. First, uh, structure-based uh, drug design. Structure-based uh, drug design or SBDD is a powerful and rational approach used in pharmaceutical industry to design uh, new drugs or optimize existing ones. It relies on the knowledge of three-dimensional structures of biological targets such as proteins, enzymes, receptors or nucleic acids to identify and design small molecules that can interact with these targets in a specific and effective manner. Structure-based drug design offers several advantages over traditional drug discovery methods such as high specificity, reduced development time and increased success rates in identifying the lead compounds. It allows researchers to focus on rational drug design rather than relying solely on the serendipity and empirical testing. Ligand based drug design. Ligand based drug design is a drug discovery approach that focuses on the design of new drugs or optimization of existing ones based on the knowledge of ligands. That is the small molecules that can bind to the target of interest. Unlike uh, structure based drug design which relies on the three dimensional structure of the target, LBDD uses information about the chemical and biological properties of the known ligands that could interact with the target of the disease. Elegant based drug design is particularly useful when there are three dimensional structure of the target is not available or challenging to determine. It is also effective for targets with multiple ligands and in case where the target structure may not fully represent its conformation in the biological environment. The next is de novo drug design. De novo drug design is an innovative approach in the field of drug discovery that allows creating entirely new, new drug molecules from scratch without uh, relying on the existing ligands or target structures. In other words, it is the process of uh, designing novel drug candidates with specific properties to interact with a chosen target or biological pathway. 
Dino mode rug design is a highly challenging and complex task that requires a deep understanding of chemistry, pharmacology, and the biological system of interest. QSAR studies by in silico techniques. QSAR, uh, which stands for quantitative uh, structure activity relationship, is a computational approach used uh, in drug discovery and various other fields of uh, chemistry and biology. It involves uh, building mathematical models that relate the chemical structure of the molecules quantified as uh, by the molecular descriptors like uh, C log P log P log S. Um, or a number of hydrogen bond donors like that to their biological or pharmacological activities by using the activity values. These models help predict the activity of new untested compounds, thereby aiding the identification of potential drug candidates with the desired properties. Our next is pharmacophore modeling. Pharmacophore modeling is a computational technique used in drug discovery and molecular design to identify and characterize the essential features or chemical properties that are critical for a molecule to interact with a specific biological target. The essential features are known as pharmacophores and represent the spatial arrangement of functional groups or chemical moieties responsible for the molecule's biological activity. Free energy calculations. Free energy calculations in molecular docking refers to computational methods used to estimate the binding affinity or binding free energy between the ligand and the target. Uh, the, there are different uh, free energy calculations. Uh, it provides a qualitative picture of binding without considering the energetic aspects. Uh, one is uh, molecular mechanics, generalized uh, bond surface area that is MMGBSA. Next is MMPBSA. Molecular mechanics, uh, poison, Boltzmann surface area, and the next is molecular dynamic simulations with free energy perturbation. Network pharmacology. So, network pharmacology is an interdisciplinary approach that integrates the concepts uh, from network biology, systems biology, and pharmacology to study the interactions between the drugs, biological molecules, and the disease pathways in a holistic and systematic manner. It aims to understand the complexity of biological systems and drug actions by analyzing and modeling the interactions within the biological networks. It complements traditional pharmacology approaches by considering the interconnectedness of biological systems and aiding in the identification of novel drug candidates and therapeutic strategies. Admit prediction uh, by using uh, in silico techniques. Uh, in silico prediction of absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and toxicity properties is a computational approach used to assess the pharmacokinetic and safety profiles of drug candidates before conducting in vitro and in vivo experiments. Admit prediction uh, it is a very crucial. Uh, it produces uh, higher chances of success in the later chance, uh, stages of drug development. It is important to note that Admit prediction is not a confirmation. Uh, the in silico admit prediction significantly reduces cost and time, but it has to be validated by experimental models. Machine learning and artificial in intelligence in uh, drug discovery. Artificial intelligence has revolutionized the aspects of drug discovery, making the process faster, more efficient, and data driven. AI techniques uh, help. Uh, the identification of potential drug candidates and optimize their properties accelerate drug discovery. AI's ability to analyze uh, massive data sets, uncover complex patterns and uh, make predictions has transformed the drug discovery from trial and error process to more informed and systematic approach. In silico methods of lead identification, in summary, it, uh, you have to uh, use the computer computational techniques and computational uh, simulations to discover, design, and optimize the potential drug candidates. Yeah. It is the aim or the achievement of in silico methods of lead or hit identification. So it's a very short information of uh, in silico methods for hit or lead identification. 
i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to pamukar topics channel and go through all the series i uh, presented in the channel and make utilize it and score well in your exams thank you